Hey guys, and welcome back. So today we are going to be taking a look at two different products, just because I kind of want to compare them and just kind of see what they're all about, just because I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with this product. Well, both of these products. There's three actually, I lied. Okay, so the first product that we're going to be taking a look at, slash not look at, but just really using, is the Hourglass Veil Primer. Now I love this primer, if you haven't heard me talk about it, it's phenomenal. Literally glues your makeup to your face. It's great, I love it. This is empty, this is like the value pack, so I really need to get another one, but this is damn expensive and I don't really feel like spending like 80 bucks on this, so that's a bit of a problem. Okay, so the next two products I wanna take a look at today, like the real ones I really wanted to take a look at, are the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish, I can't speak, the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. Wow, that is a tongue twister. And the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. Now, I got both of these in the exact same color, just because I was color matched for this the stick in porcelain and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna buy the foundation the liquid in the exact same color because technically it should be the exact same thing so that's gonna be one of the things that we're going to be taking a look at today to see if the color matches did they make these two products that are supposed to have the exact same color range match and which one kind of sits better which one has a nicer finish which one do I like on my skin better first thing I'm gonna do is prime my face with the hourglass veil primer and there's really not very much left in here so we're gonna ooh, have to squeeze it out oh it's so sad okay now I am going to be using a beauty blender for the application just because I want to see how these both apply using the same method I could use a different method but then it'd be really kind of hard to compare the two wouldn't it all right, so this is what the Hourglass liquid looks like. Beautiful bottle. And this is what the Hourglass stick looks like. So much more travel friendly. You can tell it's been used a little bit, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the liquid to the left and the stick to the right. I am going to take the stick foundation here and I'm just going to dot it along my face and then we will blend it in, okay? And then I'm going to take some of this Vanish liquid foundation and stick it on the other side of my face. Now, the liquid is meant to be a full coverage product, whereas the stick I think is supposed to be more of a chameleon in terms of the amount of coverage that it gives you. So this is my little beauty blender here, spade. Kind of looks like a butt plug, not gonna lie. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one side for this side of my face and the other side of the blender for the other side. So let's start patting this shit into my face and see how this goes. Wow, this is really quite challenging. Okay, so that's like relatively blended. Now the only thing is I can see that there's more coverage in these spots where I applied it. So let's do more of like a woo. That is the stick blended in. It does look quite dry. I will be straight with you it does look very dry to me okay now let's use the other side of our beauty blender to pat in this liquid it's gonna use my left hand but that's kind of awkward Okay, so that is both sides blended in. Oh, I think I had some on my finger there. Whoops. Okay, so right off the bat, um, the stick side is definitely not as full in terms of the coverage. The other thing is it is so much more difficult to blend. Um, 
also you just do not get nearly as much product as the liquid like it's actually kind of crazy I've maybe used this about a centimeters worth max and that's the amount of product that you get so really not as much as the liquid um, which is kind of disappointing the other thing is both of these are very dry and my face was quite well moisturized the other thing is it does look a little bit cakey like right around the mouth here you can definitely see some creasing the finish um, is quite similar but just the way that it's applied is quite different so this just feels like it's sitting on top of the skin the stick does whereas the liquid actually feels more like it's melted much better into my skin so I do actually prefer the liquid which is funny because I originally thought I preferred the stick the only thing I think I would use the stick for is more of like a concealer just because it's easy um, in terms of the packaging like it's much easier for me to do to take this like put a little bit on my finger even and just kind of use it to like spot treat this zit that I have or even just use this as like an under eye concealer way easier than the liquid oh I look so weird okay I am going to finish this look the same way I would finish all of my makeup like just like on a daily basis and then we will see sort of how each side wears throughout the day all right so this is my makeup fully done with some Laura Mercier powder under my eyes around my nose and my mouth especially my mouth because I always get these little wrinkles here and then along my forehead as well so now we are just going to go about our day and see how this product works and I will come back to you guys with the results so stay tuned okay <laughs> <laughs> 